Chandler will not do it for him. The handler must also reward the dogs out by giving the release command and bringing the toy alive promptly after the dog releases. The core principle of the Balabanov method is elimination of resistance. This is done by showing the dog that there exists one path and one path only to reward. Fundamentally, the handler's response to errors is to refuse reward, not to physically punish the dog really understand that the opposite of reward is not punishment. It's withholding that reward. Okay. This means that the psychological force that impels the animal to release the toy is not anxiety triggered by an out command, but instead his desire for reward. Okay. The basic game consists of two phases. In one phase, the animal is free to reward himself by striving after and biting the object of his desire. We call this object the toy, but we should be clear about one thing. The behavior that a good dog exhibits when interacting with his toy is not merely play. It is something far more powerful, a product of genetic modification of the canine hunting instinct. In the second phase of the game, the dog has an obligation. He is unable to earn reward, and in order to regain this opportunity, he must engage in some target behavior. Only by executing this target behavior correctly can the dog make reward again available. As we have already discussed, the dog's reward, the goal of his behavior, is not mere possession of the toy by grasping it in his mouth. The goal is the opportunity to engage in vigorous struggle with the toy. This requires the cooperation and participation of the handler. By refusing to cooperate, the handler can make it impossible for the dog to reward himself and oblige the animal to seek a way of securing this cooperation. The earliest target skill, the means by which the dog learns to elicit...